Time now for the pig and the hen. Pig and the hen show. Pig and the hen show. Can I get, can I ask you a quick question before? Yeah, I leave? sure, mate. Sure. Like, yeah. So, so, so I was I was thinking about this. Like our midfield area is like really like really weak. Just just in terms of like sh- sheer numbers. Like forget the quality. Like just in terms of like the the de- the depth hmm. is like completely not not there. And uh, if if Oli is like persistent with this four two three one, we don't really have a have a have a top class attacking midfielder either. Like we we play. Andreas Pereira in the number 10 role which mm. is let's face it I mean he's a good good potential but he's uh, he's nowhere near like yeah, top I agree. quality he's not he's not the... not top and he's not ready yet anyway no exactly mm. so, so 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 do you think that we should perhaps go for Ozil on a loan in January oh. because, <laughs> because he, he's he's he, he has, I don't think he has played a sorry so just, just correct me if I'm wrong he's... quickly sorry to butt in but was it Maximilian the other week that, that suggested Arsene Wenger is a potential <laughs> yes. replacement for Ronnie Gunnar guy. And there's definitely some kind of Arsenal blood running in there. <laughs> now, I'm just, I'm just throwing out, out a, an, an unpopular opinion, if you will. Like, it's just a, yeah, it's just a, like, like a, like a shout. I mean, the thing is that we can't deny that on his day, he's, I think he's one of the best playmakers in the world and to, like mm. the sad part is that his days are like w- once a year or something like that mm. <laughs> he doesn't really turn up in every match but i mean maybe it's it's because he's just like fed up at arsenal like he just doesn't like he, it's just gotten a bit stale like he's been there for like yeah i don't know like almost seven years so so I, i'm not saying that 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 buy him on a on a permanent contract right. just like get him <clears throat> get him in on a loan because i don't want this not, to be not, like the, a not, alexis sanchez thing again not the right player for me. I mean, I'll refer back to like a new story of um, Ozil and who was it? Was it Kalajanak that yeah. were kind of attacked, attacked by thugs or something whilst they were in a car? And, you know, I, mean, I feel sorry for the guys that no one should be should be the v- victim of some kind of, you know, assault crime or, or whatever it is. OK, but bottom line, Ozil stayed in the car and Kalajanak gets out and, and, and it actually has it out with these guys. And, you know, is it wrong for me to compare that to football? But you know, for me, Ozil, Ozil, if he's so, you know, satisfied with his life right now and, you know, he's, Mate. you know, he's happy with his paycheck, I, I don't think he's the, he's the guy that's going to make a difference at Manchester United. I'd rather, I'd rather you bring in Kalashinak. What? <laughs> anyway, what um, no, Ozil, I mean, he's a good player, but yeah, I mean, he'll probably get more opportunities now. Xhaka had that you know, nightmare the other day with uh, telling the fans to F off and all right. that. He might get some opportunities now, but to me, Ozil's a very good player, but I don't think he's the right fit for United right now because he's, he's sort of had a struggling career over the last couple of years. If we were getting the Ozil at, you know, at Real Madrid, who's feeding Ronaldo with 47 goals a season or whatever it is, then 100%. But maybe that's also, maybe that, that part of his career <clears throat> is is also complemented it's by over. the fact he's playing with such great players <laughs> with, you know, even in the Germany team and right. it makes it easier. Whereas this Arsenal team and even this United team, they're nowhere near those levels. Sorry, we just missed somebody's call. I apologise. If you want to call in again we'll get you back on a yeah thank mm. you very much maximilian for your great comments there i mean Urzel on alone as well i don't think Urzel on alone is that realistic i don't think arsenal yeah. would want to give their player to us on a loan basis so uh maybe if we bought him for a lot of money they'd consider it but uh, again because no, no, he's because he's out because he's out of contract i believe at, at the end of the season anyway so if they send him on out on a loan so after that like it's pretty much done for him anyway because mm. he's he's out of contract, right? So, right. I mean, mm. but but I don't. I don't, I don't like, see him going. Right. Maximilian, honestly, I don't we, see him going to a top team. I think for me, Özil's career is very much over, unless unless he completely starts showing everybody what a player he is. I mean, because he is nowhere near top tier level football. If you to to be honest, Maximilian, I've got to have it out with you to suggest <laughs> that he should be a loan signing for Manchester United <laughs> right now. No, Come but, on, mate. What I mean, he has been a quality I mean, player, though. Let, let's know? face it; he's the best number. He would be the best number ten on paper if he actually comes in our squad because we don't have any number tens. I mean, Pereira. he's on paper. He is that for Arsenal, but he doesn't show it, does he? Mm. So you think that suddenly he he you know he puts on the United shirt and he's going to be the old Urzel? I mean, 
Okay, um, I mean, he need he need a good manager, Maximilian. If you if maybe maybe if you were advising Solskjaer on, on how to manage, uh, <laughs> it could work. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> nice one, well, great call though, Max. Thank you very much for getting in here again with your uh, opinion. Some interesting talking points. We're gonna have to end it now because we've got another call coming in. But thank you for getting involved, Max. Have a thank great you, day, Max. mate. Speak Thanks to you soon, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers. Right, man. See you. It's time now for the Pig and the Hen. Pig and the Hen Show. Pig and the Hen Show.